Hi everybody, it's your old mate Nat Vegas here with another Ableton Live tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ableton Live packs. And this is of course for people who own Ableton Live. And uh, when you purchase Ableton Live, you'll get a user account on Ableton.com. So that's where we're first going to go. Now I own the sweet version of Ableton, so that gives me lots of uh, different packs for free. Um, you can... Here we are on Ableton.com. You can go over here to Packs and you can have a look at all their uh, cool things they've got for offer. And you can purchase them from here. So any packs that you have for free with your version of Ableton Live um, will be under this account. If you just click on Account, and this is after you've already logged into your user account, um, It'll show you the version of Ableton Live that you own. So I've got Live 9 Suite and Max for Live. And if you scroll down, you can see the packs that are included with your version of Ableton Live. And if I click Not Yet Downloaded, it'll just show me all the ones that I haven't yet downloaded. So it just it remembers. So I'm going to pick a little, nice little one. Here we go. Uh, connection Kit. No idea what this one is. Haven't looked into it yet. You can look by clicking on it. It'll tell you. Oh, cool. So this is a, a little kit that can talk to Arduino and um, third-party cool devices. Very cool. Anyway, you can see that that's now downloading. And a lot of them are quite big. So I picked a really small one just for the sake of this exercise. So here we go. And then I'm going to go show in Finder. If you're on a PC, um, you can, you know, go find your download wherever you've put it. So there it is there on my desktop. So let's have a look here. Connection kit. This is the pack. And I usually like to have my Ableton packs on a hard drive or something like that. So if I have to install them on another computer, I don't have to download them again. Um, because Ableton Live gives, when you buy a license for Ableton Live, you get the right to install it on two separate computers at any one time. And now this is the real simple part. You find your pack that you downloaded and you just drag it into the Ableton screen and just drop it anywhere and it's installing and there it is it's done it's that quick that was a very simple little one if it was a big one like uh this grand piano one or the orchestral strings it'll take a while and if you want to see which packs you have installed you have to open your browser which you click this button here and if you want some tips on how to use the basic features of Ableton Live, don't forget to have a look at my Ableton Live crash course. I've made a free one hour video getting you totally uh, kickstarted into using Ableton Live. If you want to learn all the basics and you haven't yet, um, I'm giving that away for free. So I'll pop the link in the description. Um, so here under packs, it'll show you all the packs that you have installed and it should be here connection kit and then it's as simple as going in and clicking that little arrow to see I mean if I go on a different one here like a grand piano and I just want to use that instrument um, I can go to sounds and I'll go to the production grand piano and there there's a bright mellow I can grab any one of those and drag them onto a MIDI track and I'm I'm away rolling there's my piano instrument loaded up on that track um, for some of the other packs they might be like the Latin percussion you can either grab the clips so I'm gonna hit tab and go over to the arrange view here you, that's a clip that you can just actually um, like a MIDI clip you can drag on to a track um, they've got actual drum kits you just double click on on one of those Let's say I've got that MIDI track, you can drag that onto a MIDI track as well. And that's an actual drum kit um, loaded up onto a drum rack. So 
depending on which pack you download, there's many different things you can do with the pack. Um, some of them have got performance instruments, some of them have got samples, loops, um, a whole range of things, and you can just go in and see, and under the samples, these are just, I'm assuming this will just be audio, yep, so these the audio right there. Um, have fun mucking around with the packs, they're great, make sure you download all the packs that you get for free, I've used these a lot. Um, when I first started out making production music, I used their orchestral strings and the grand piano, I found them to be really high quality, they come with sweet um, they're fairly cheap if you want to purchase them, um, and I really like some of these other break beats and um, any packs that you have installed, the samples from them will actually show up when you hit samples here. So this big list of samples, um, anything that's been installed in a pack will also appear under these clips and samples. So. That's also another really handy thing uh, to know, and you can just search for whatever you want um, by clicking in there. Um, so that's it. That's how you install a pack. It is really simple. And um, like this video and subscribe if you found it useful. And stay sexy. See you later.